All right, YouTube, Dre here. Getting ready to um, start on my brakes on my 2016 F-150. Listen, I normally start on the right side, but I'm gonna start on the left side this time because the left wheel is scarred up the worst. And I'm curious as to why is it scarred up? See, the left one is scarred up worse. All right, YouTube, I don't think I have to tell you guys not to use your running board to jack up your truck but uh in case you're thinking about it don't use your running board to drink jack up your truck okay the tire is off the ground and it rolls Take this and slide it right there. It looks like a good place to put it. Go my brake shoe ears. So we know the people put the brake pads on correctly. Before I go through the trouble of taking this damn thing off. Yeah, it looks like that works. I heard something about this being a 13 millimeter and it is a 13 millimeter. I um, heard something about pushing the brake pads in. Uh, let's see how we're going to do this. You know they goes in pretty easy so at least i know my my pistons are good i mean the calipers is good because if the caliper wasn't good it wouldn't it wouldn't go in as easy as it's going in and also it might still need to go in some more When you push one in, the other one jump out when you got dual piston. I don't have two screwdrivers, so I'm going to use a screwdriver and a damn uh, body panel mover. Alright, the pistons are all the way in. One good thing about when you can push, push your pistons in that easy, we know the caliper is good. Ooh, four left a little paint because they ain't want nobody to touch it. Oh well, I don't plan to go back anyway. What's going on? I know they, they got a bathroom in there. Yeah. We gotta go bad in here, boy. I do know I gotta go with it. Oh, uh, it's nobody up there. Alright, Tube, I had to stop doing what I was doing because of um the guy who come wash our trucks had to use the restroom. And our building is bonded, so we can't have anybody inside the building without an escort. So I had to sit in the break room, wait on him, finish doing the number two. Now, they talked about not letting the caliper hang because the weight of the caliper could mess up the brake line. This brake line can handle, I mean, this brake line has to handle about at least a thousand PSI of pressure. With the caliper hanging like this, it is not going to hurt that brake line. Even though it's in a little, that is not going to hurt that brake line. 
But you hear folks on YouTube always talking about hanging it up. Shit is not going to hurt that brake line. Now, it is in my way because I need to get this boat right here off. So, I just move it when I get there. Alright, um, uh, they talk about pulling these out and re-greasing them. Now, this truck only has 20,000 miles on, on them, so I'm not going to re-grease them. Uh, the brake pass, as you can see, pretty good shape. This is what I was talking about, this hidden part right there. So, am I going to change the brake pads? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and change them because this part right here is hit. I think I figured out what happened to this rotor. That was a piece of metal that was um, stuck right here. I took my screwdriver and pulled it out. Um, I'm thinking that either these brake pads, they put too much metal in the mix and it was too much metal concentra concentrated. I mean, you know, they say this stuff is mixed up like cake mix. And I believe that when they mixed it, it has some impurities. And that's what created this hot, this, this part right here. That's what created this right here. And that, what I think is what caused the rotor to warp. It got too hot in this area right there. And it caused the rotor to warp. I've never seen, like I said, I've never seen this happen on brake pads that were good. I've seen, you know, brake pads that wear all the way down and do that. But, um, so this was most likely a warranty case but um, like I said, I'm not taking it back. Of course, I can't take it back now. But I'm not worried about it. I'm going to, um, I mean, it's a learning experience. And that's the thing I love about working on cars. You always will learn something new. All right, too, this is, I don't know if you can see that right there. That's what it is. It was too much metal in these brake pads it was too it, it, it wasn't mixed correctly and i kind of had a feeling that's what it was it was too much metal in the brake pads and it had created a hot spot and that's what called the warp so it's not my driving it was just bad brake pads um pull out that part right there that part right there to save money and for brake pads Apparently, it's trying to save a bunch of money. A whole bunch of money. My brakes are quiet. My shims are good. Let's pull the other one off. The shims on it are good. And uh, I don't believe Ford used any grease. Now, this is the part of the trip mount. Now the folks swear up and down that you have to grease every part that the piston touch. Do that feel like any grease? That don't like any grease. I don't think they use any grease on factory pads. No, they ain't using no grease. Cause I mean, if they use grease, this will have some grease on it. You know, factory pads do not come with grease. Also, Look right here. There's no grease. I don't think there ever was any grease. But they swear up and down. They swear up and down. You have to grease. You have some people talking about you got to grease them. There's no grease. You don't have to grease, grease them. Am I going to change them? I'm not going to change them either. I never change these. Why? Well, first of all, the truck only has 20,000 miles on it. All right, too, believe it or not, I don't have a 21 millimeter socket. At least if I do have one, I can't find it. But I got a 21 millimeter wrench. And I got a 22 millimeter wrench. And I'm gonna see if I break this thing loose. I don't 
don't think that was 140 psi of pressure. I mean, not psi, but somebody said that um, 140 pounds of torque. If it was, it didn't feel like it. Yep, if it was, it don't feel like it. I'm gonna buy me a 21 millimeter socket the next time. I could have sworn I had one, but I guess I don't. All right, too, I figured out why I can't find a 21 millimeter socket. I was using the 21 millimeter socket to take the lug nuts off. That's why I couldn't find it. Well, I'm gonna put it on this, put this adapter. And now I can use this. Well, at least I thought I could. Guess I need to recharge this thing. And damn if it. Yep, it's low. God be damn. I be damn. This thing need recharging. Look there. Oh well. Guess I get a ratchet now. Alright, too. Only because of this damn thing is in my way is I use a bungee cord to um, put it up. So I guess. I guess. Um, Alright, now we're gonna have to use this. Okay, it's still in the way. Anyway. And I can tell they damn use some damn lock. Feel like they use Loctite on this damn thing. What the hell is wrong with my ratchet? The white folks put Loctite on their nuts. They always put like Loctite on stuff. And it's still in the damn way. Alright, that should be out of my way. And that's the reason why it won't spin out by hand because they got the damn lock tied up in there. Don't need to use Loctite. I've been working on brakes for, I don't know, since I was 14, 24, 34, 44, over 30 some years, I've never seen bolts holding brakes come out. Never, ever, never have ever. So we got this off. Yeah, lock tight crap up in there. They so worried it's gonna come off. So now we can pull the uh-oh, now I can't pull the road off. Now I need a slush and I'm get the damn road off. I guess why people put a lock tight on the road too. Okay. This is not rusty, so that is, but I'm not worried about that. I'm just gonna put the uh, new road on. Oh, I gotta clean. I gotta clean the oil off that. I am a fan of brake cleaner, but I forgot to buy some. So I'm gonna use 91% rubbing alcohol. 
hope for the best. Actually, I don't think this road has got much grease on it. But I tried just in case it did. Pretty good. Some of you say it's tree trunk, but whatever. But I think he was talking about my truck. You know what? I gotta go get some brake clean. This shit left. The paper towel is, is coming apart. But you know what, though? Forget it. All right, so we get ready to put on my rotor. And I guess we'll I do believe in put using a lug net to keep it from moving, but I don't think it's going to go in for enough. Hey, I stand corrected. It does. Now we're gonna put these back on without changing out the um, hardware kit. Even if the truck didn't have just twenty thousand miles, I still wouldn't change them. Gave me the wrong photos. Did they? Ooh, no, I just I just put this in too far. Ooh, that was scary. Ooh, that was scary. And that was scary. I'm going to miss my electric um, ratchet. Man, I've done this a lot quicker. You know what I'm going to do? Nah. Well, Tube, I guess it is the right rotors. They tight, but um, yeah, I guess it's the right road. They fit and it ain't hitting that. Very close. I'm glad. Now I'm gonna tell you what I do with these bolts here. I use use a ratchet, a um, one one quarter ratchet. But I don't feel like getting up. So I'm just gonna use my pull handle. How much torque am I gonna put on? I have no idea. But for the undercern, that's tight. All right, what I gotta do, put the brake pads on now. Brand new hardware kit, and the color fella won't even use it. He must be crazy, y'all. All right, here's my new Wagner pads, and remember, put the ears, put the ears on the outside. Make sure you put the ears on the outside. I'm, I'm, I'm joking, y'all. You put the ears on the inside. Okay. 
None of that looks so pretty. All right, now, what I gotta do now? Oh, put the caliper on. Uh, I mean, yeah, the caliper. Is that right? Look at that. Oh, you have to sometimes push these in. And on the bottom. You might have to adjust this to get it to go in. Don't forget to remove your lug nut, but you probably won't because you can't get the wheel on with this thing on, on here. Now, does anybody know how much torque you should put on a 13 millimeter um, nut? Anybody know? I'm gonna tell you something. 13 millimeter bolts don't go that tight. They don't go that tight. This 13 millimeter bolt, 13 millimeter bolt, all it does is hold this caliper on top of the brake pads, pretty much, yeah. The actual brake pad holder is what gets all the stress. This caliper don't get that much stress. I've seen people strip these damn 13 millimeter bolts. Don't have to be that damn tight, I mean tight, but not that damn tight. All right, I'm gonna, oh, by the way. This difference between the new and the used. Not much of a damn difference, is it? How can I do this? That's not really much of a difference. Look at that shit. I was talking about the wagon the hell the wagon would probably do stop better. Stop better than this factory one. But then again, these two holes here probably equals to that hole. What well, these four holes probably equals to that hole. Well we'll find out in a little bit we'll stop better. But I'm damn sure holding on to these. Y'all have a good day. Oh I gotta put the Tie on. But hey, y'all know how to put the tie on, don't you? Y'all have a good day. Bye.